All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be checking out Musox, which is a new Discord music bot that plays music from YouTube, Spotify, and SoundCloud. It also includes a lot of the features that a lot of people enjoy, like filters, different types of utilities, like turning it into a 24-7 radio station, and also being able to play, start, stop, the queue, add songs to the queue, remove songs, and also grab music directly through a search through Discord without having to actually log into YouTube, SoundCloud, or Spotify in order to search for music to play. So all you have to do to invite this bot to your Discord server is click on the Add to Discord button, and it walks you through the standard Discord bot invite process, which just requires you to log in, give the bot the permissions it needs, and tell it what server you want it on. And you can also install slash invite one of three versions of the bot, so you can have it in more than one channel at the same time. So I've already got it on my server, and just FYI, for the purposes of testing, the developers of the bot actually gave me premium versions, so we can check out some of the things like the filters, along with looking at some of the other stuff, like 24 hour music. Right now, a lot of those features are available if you just vote for the bot. Occasionally on top.gg, you don't actually have to pay for a lot of it. Although if you do use this bot a lot, you probably should. So like a lot of music bots, they tend to work best when you already pop into a music channel or a voice channel to listen to music that you've set up. So I'll do that now. And then I will type in arrow help because here in the sidebar, you see the prefix for this bot is the little arrow. And this will give me an idea of what all the commands are for this bot. So you can see it does a lot of the basics. It plays music, stops, starts. You can shuffle the music, search for music, rewind, all of that stuff. So let's go ahead and search. Let's go ahead and search for NCS music, no copyright sounds. And what this is going to do is first it's going to pop into the music channel with me so I can listen to the music and then I select a track from the top 10 search results when I typed in NCS. This is searching on YouTube right now, and I'll just grab something random. And once I select it from that list, it'll A, pull up the information about what is playing, who the author is, how long the track is, and it starts playing the music. Then I also have the option to start and stop the music either via commands or by clicking on the various buttons here that are underneath of the song. From here, I can do two things. I can search for another song. So I can search for NCS. And then I'll bring up another search that's very similar. I can just grab like this one from Tobu. And that'll add it to the queue. And they also have the ability to add similar. So anything that's a similar NCS track, when I type in add similar, will add a similar random song that's related in some way to the ones that I've already added to the queue. And now I can just look at the queue and it'll tell me what's currently in the list for me to play next. So currently Electrolyte is playing, next up is Candyland, followed by Invin Invisible. So you can see all those things right there. Now, if we type in help again, it gives us some other options that we can check out. So one of the things that people really like is being able to play around with just random filters. This is kind of more fun when you have like a vocalist in the music, but in the case of this music, it should work just fine. We can do like a slow-mo effect. So let's type in slow-mo. And that will add like a slow-mo effect to the music. You also, while that's kicking in, because it takes it a second to intercept the stream, do like a little filter and then send it to us. What else do we have for different controls? So we can look at the about information for the bot, which will tell us what the bot is, what it does, and who makes it. It's made by Vish4L and Philip. We can also ping the bot to see what the current latency is on the bot, which is always really nice. So if you are wondering if it's the bot lagging or if it's you lagging, this is a great way to see. Um, what we're looking for is the gateway ping, which is relatively quick. It's only like 19 milliseconds. That's faster than me playing games. 
on my internet connection. And then we can also look at where are the settings. We want to look at what the settings are activated right now. So currently, I believe it's got song announcement enabled, so it tells you what song is currently playing. It's got the ability to request songs from people in the channel that are not admins or DJs. You can also see the music buttons, which are those buttons here underneath of the whatever is currently playing. So you can start, stop, forward, back, that sort of thing. And you've got the 24-7 mo mode is currently disabled, autoplay mode is disabled, and the request channel is not set up. If you wanted to, there is a setup command, but you would have to give the bot specific channel editing permissions to use it, which would set up a special Musox request channel where people could be like, I want to add this song, and then people can approve it or vote for it to add that to the queue. I currently have that disabled because I don't necessarily always need those types of channels, but you have that option if you want. And then let's go ahead and disable slow-mo by just doing that. And then we can try to fix the bot. Let's say there's something going wrong and you're experiencing some lag or latency. We can type in fix, which should automatically tweak the channel settings that we're in and we'll reconnect, which you probably saw over here. And it will attempt to improve our latency to the server so that Musox is as lag free as possible. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I find Discord's automatic system is pretty good, so you don't necessarily have to do that very often. But it's there if you want to. And then if you want some type of support, you're having trouble with Musox, you can type in support. And that will give you a link to the support server on Discord so you can ask questions and get help in case something is broken or misbehaving and all of those things. Um, I think the last thing we'll look at here, you can change the prefix. You can change who gets to be a requester. You can reset the settings, which is all pretty standard. I think for the most part, this has a lot of the features that people love and enjoy about music bots. It's just that it depends on what your personal preferences are. This is going to be one of those bots that can still play YouTube right now, which is not necessarily something that you can say about all bots. Although do note that if YouTube does send them a cease and desist later, they might have to drop YouTube support in favor of just SoundCloud and Spotify like a lot of other bots. But for the moment, as of me recording this tutorial, you will you can see that they do have the ability to search on YouTube. You can also just post in a link from YouTube to just add it to the queue that way. Same with SoundCloud and Spotify. You don't have to search through their command prompts to do that. But it has all of the basic features that you would expect of a music bot being able to play music, loop it, now playing pause, stop, clear the queue, add to the queue, remove duplicates, all that, while also offering you filters and some different configuration options. So that has been a look at Musox Music Bot for Discord in a nutshell. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. So until then, I'm going to stop the bot. And I'm going to tell it to disconnect so that it's not in the channel with me anymore. And that'll be it for this one. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.